Hey guys, this is Theo Joe Tech. If you're watching this video, you probably are thinking about upgrading your current operating system to Windows 10. You may or may not know that there's actually two ways that you can get Windows 10, and that's either as an upgrade or a clean install when you go to overwrite your current operating system. Now there are advantages and disadvantages to both, but I'm gonna argue that there's really only one way to do it, and that would be a clean install, so why don't we go over why I think that is. So why don't we first go over an upgrade? Basically what happens when you do an upgrade as opposed to a clean install, Windows 10 is installed over your current operating system so that all your files and settings and everything like that is supposedly restored onto Windows 10. So when you finish installing it, you shouldn't notice really any difference in the installed programs. They should all be there. All your files will still be there. So it's actually a pretty easy way to upgrade. And that's really the only advantage to doing an upgrade. It's easier, you don't require as much knowledge if you're not really good with computers, all your settings will just be there, supposedly, if nothing goes wrong. So you don't really have to do anything extra, it should all work by itself. However, there are significant disadvantages to doing an in-place upgrade to Windows 10 or any operating system. First of all, some programs might not work and then you'll just have these dead programs that don't even work, the files will still be there. So you'd have to reinstall them anyway with the newer version of that software, assuming that there is one that the software developer can provide. And similarly, any old files, old programs that you never use anymore, startup programs, old registry entries, everything comes along with it. So you'll probably get a bunch of junk that you don't even use anymore that's still gonna be on the computer after you do the installation and have that new operating system. And just as importantly, any viruses or spyware could probably come along with it. So if you had any viruses on your old operating system before you upgraded, you know, a upgrade is not gonna save you from those. Another disadvantage is that the process is more complicated, not for the user, but for the operating system, the whole process that has to replace the files and keep the programs installed and make sure all the settings are working as best it can and put everything in the right place. It's kind of a complicated process. There's more opportunity for things to go wrong, things to break. So when you do an upgrade, some stuff might not work as it should when it's done installing. And another disadvantage, which is kind of like a result of all the other ones, is that you're gonna get lower performance if you just do an upgrade. There have been studies that show that if you do an upgrade, you're gonna get less performance, understandably, because you got all those old files, the startup program's still there, any spyware, old entries, and everything's just gonna be cluttered, still on the computer. You're not gonna get that fresh install performance. So now let's talk about a clean install. As you can imagine, the advantages are pretty much the opposite of everything I just mentioned. You're not gonna get any bloatware or old programs or old files taking up resources and you don't even use them anymore but they're still there. When you do a clean install, everything that's there is supposed to be there, you know it's fresh, there's nothing extra. And because of this, you're gonna get better performance than a regular upgrade. In fact, you're gonna get the best performance you possibly can because there's absolutely nothing extra in the way besides the operating system to use up the resources. Now, there are really only two disadvantages to doing a clean install. The first one is that you need a little bit of advanced knowledge, not too much, but if you're really bad with computers, you're probably gonna get confused. For example, if you don't know what a partition is or how they work, you're probably gonna get a little confused during this clean installation because it's gonna ask you what partition you wanna put it on. You might have to resize one or delete some recovery partitions. If you don't know what all that is, you're gonna have a hard time. And the second disadvantage, I'm sure you all already know this, but it's a real pain afterwards. You have to reinstall everything. You have to reconfigure everything. You gotta move all your files back. Now, by the way, you should be backing up even if you do an upgrade, but especially if you're doing a clean install, obviously, because everything is going to be wiped out, but you got to make sure all your files are backed up, copy them all back. And this stuff is kind of like an advantage also, though, because you know exactly what you're installing, you know exactly where everything's going, so you're not going to have that one program that you installed a year ago for one thing. You're just initially going to be installing stuff you use all the time, and you're going to have good performance. 
And that's pretty much all I wanted to say about it, but if you guys, I'm sure you guys have some comments you can leave in the comments section to help others out. We can continue this conversation down below. It's not over when the video is over. And if you guys want to like the video, if you enjoyed it, that would be good. And you can subscribe because I make new videos three times a week. You can check out some other old videos on the right hand side. You can either click them or look in the description for the same links like if you're on a phone. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hope you found this helpful. Have a good one.